Hey, 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 everybody. Today's topic is something so important, and I'm sure you know that it's so important, but you might not realize how important it truly is, and that's mindset. Part one of a three-part series that I'll be running for the next three podcasts. Check it out. You're listening to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. Welcome to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. And now your host, Melissa Jakubovic. All right. So today we're talking about mindset. And mindset is a very important piece to the puzzle of success, the recipe of success, if you will. And the way I run all of my programs is by incorporating all three parts to this recipe. And the first one is mindset. The second one is planning and strategy. And the third one is action. These three pieces are essential to your growth, to your success, to the way you'll reach lots of people, to the way you'll communicate with your clients, to the ability to feel drawn in by your tribe. All of this comes from these three things, your ability to make more money, to gain more time, to close more deals, and to make more sales also comes from these things. So if you want to fill your programs and you want to build a business that you feel proud about, that has integrity, that shows that you can grow and you're going to be here and people flock to you because the service you provide is such a solution, all of that happens when you put these three pieces together. And so I will be doing a series including these three individual components on their own podcast for the next few podcasts. So today we're talking about the first piece and that first piece is mindset. You can have all the spreadsheets that you need in your business. You can have all the leads coming through the door, but if your mindset is not right, your business will not succeed. So what does that mean mindset? What I mean is by your belief system, what you want, how you get it, and what you think about that. What thoughts are playing in your head to achieve the greatness that you deserve and you are striving for? Because you have the ability to want something means that you have the ability to choose. Your mind gets to decide how it feels, what it thinks, and what it's going to do. So the only way to strengthen your mindset muscle is to do personal development every single day, and it should be part of your power hour, part of things that you absolutely must do, non-negotiable, and they will be done every single day. And one of that is mindset. And that could be something as simple as reading a book for 10 to 15 minutes, or at least reading 10 to 15 pages, maybe, whatever measurement feels good for you. It could mean listening to an Audible book for 20 minutes or so, like on your drive home, or while you're doing dishes, or while you're picking up kids, or whatever. Or it could mean that you're on YouTube and you're listening to some sort of meditation that's uplifting and positive and affirming. It could be any of these things. It could be going to see a business speaker talk about building your business. So mindset is about personal development and business development when you're building a business. Now, if you want to branch off into maybe a relationship you're having with your child, of course, you can go into that area as well of self-help and self-development. That all counts. If you're having an issue with a relative, you can do some personal development on relationships. Basically, you're trying to make yourself a better person, a stronger person, a more resilient person, a person who embodies confidence, a person who can help others, a person that is attractive in many different ways on many different levels because you are understanding of all these other types of people and thoughts and actions and the way the world works with your mindset. So you have to strengthen that muscle. And when you're in business, there will be ups and downs. There will be feast and famine cycle. There will be lots of great clients and lots of really bad ones that you just got a bad apple and you've got to let go. So there's good feelings and there's bad feelings. You might get a bunch of clients. You might have to fire an employee. There's pros and cons to running business, but mindset is that gel that's going to keep you even keeled and balanced so that when things go haywire, you are still playing at the top of your game. And when things go really, really well, you are grateful and you understand why they go so well and how you are in control of that and how you set everything into motion to create your own reality and how you manifest things and the way that you speak to yourself, your self-talk. All of this matters when building your business. 
And in my program, Marketing with Intention, this is one of the pillars of what we do in this program. Maybe we're unleashing and unlocking some money blocks that you have. Maybe we're releasing some limited beliefs that you need to acknowledge and crush through in order to get to the next level in your business. And these are things that you can't always recognize yourself. These are things that you need someone from the outside who deals with this on a day-to-day basis, comes in, looks around, asks a few questions questions, figure out what's going on and where things can be tweaked. And then it goes, broom, poof, there we go. I know that A, B, C, D, E, F, and G need to change in this way and I can help you do it. So sometimes when you're feeling stuck, the next move is to hire a coach, is to get someone to help you as an outsider, move you through that barrier, break that ceiling and take you to the next level. All of this is part of mindset and it's a pillar inside of my program, Marketing with Intention, because if we don't do this work, we will not be able to reach the next level. You might have some limiting belief or money block that is keeping you from making the money you want to make. And so if we don't go in and break it down and talk about it and get it out and resettle it in a different way, so things come into their being and a sense of alignment that allows you to stay on course and no one can push you off, then that is because we have worked on your mindset and I can't take you to that next level until we do it. So in my business, one of my personal commitments is every single day I am doing mindset work. I write on my power hour checklist that it's 10 minutes of personal development, but I can tell you that I do a minimum of 30 and sometimes I'm addicted to this stuff. I go on for hours and hours every time. I'm folding laundry, every time I have a moment alone, every time I'm driving, sometimes in the shower, I'll turn the the shower speaker on and just listen to my audible books. And I'm going through books day after day after day. And I'm always asking people, do you have any good book recommendations for personal development or business development? I can't eat this stuff up fast enough. And it's one of the reasons why I stay the course and nothing can let me down. And I'll tell you that 2019 was a really hard year for me, both personally and professionally. And it was my mindset that kept me on the course. And now I am having really good months, really good days. I am so grateful for the journey that I've been on from day one till now. And we're almost at five years here at the agency. And I can't tell you how grateful I am for all those ups and all those downs. Every single one of those downs was a learning experience, a stepping stone where I just tweaked something else. And when I got stuck, I hired in the help. No matter how much it would cost in my business, I knew that it would benefit me in the long run. So I always had a coach and I would keep a coach until I felt like it didn't fit anymore. And I'd go get another coach who would mix things up again and take me to the next level. And I was always reading and I still always am reading my personal development every single day. So mindset is incredibly important. You need to be reading affirmations. You need to affirm your greatness. I don't want you to poison the path. Everything that you want is coming to you. In fact, it's already there. You just need to come to it. You need to find it. And the only way you can get to it is if you embody that person who you need to become in order for it to appear. You need to do the things and take the actions that you need to do and take in order for you to get to that milestone, which is just waiting and staring you down and going, hello, here I am. Be the person that can accept this. So you need to accept all of your greatness, all of your power. Use all of your adversity to your advantage. Mold yourself into the person that you want to become who is going to be able to achieve these dreams that are already there waiting for you. Whether it's $20,000 months, if that's what your goal is, or maybe it's having three clients a week. Whatever your goal is, think about it and then become the person who you need to become to achieve it and bring in the help. This is all mindset and it's an important component to reaching that next level. Stay tuned for the next two podcasts where we're going to be talking about the other two pieces and we're going to go deep into those two pieces that you need for your business success when you're running an online business, building a personal brand, and you have a service to offer. So I hope this helps and I'll see you next time. Thanks for listening to the Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast at www.marketingtipswithmelissa.com. Oh wait, 
Before you go, it's time to get laser focused this year and fill your group programs and one-on-one calendar once and for all. My 90-Day Business Accelerator helps coaches, healers, and holistic doctors fill their group programs so they can scale their business, freeing up their time, and making them more money than they made in the previous quarter. I'm accepting a small handful of people into this mastermind so it stays intimate and personal. We focus on results. You will grow your personal brand while quickly growing your business. The next round begins April 7th, and since the program has sold out every time I've run it this year, the price will be increasing. So if you think you're ready to make more this quarter than you did the last two, it's time to visit go.melissmarketing.com slash MWI, which stands for Marketing with Intention. So we can hop on a call and you can get in at the current price, which we will raise before we launch the program again. During the call, you can walk me through your business so I can understand what's been going on a little bit deeper. And we can make sure that I can help you reach your goals. Spaces will go quickly. Go.melissmarketing.com slash MWI. Let's do this.